Yeah, cool. cool. So, so what the life there is, there's a couple of ways you can look at it. You can, it's really good having them because it gives you a reference point and then you can jot down a few things. And I can add on these, on this sort of, all these areas of life with different tasks leading out just from the areas. This is one cool one. Um, you would have noticed the three people I put in the group. Um, who are them three people if you've seen? Well, is it Gary V, Regan, and fuck, I don't even know what the other mic is. Michael Slogan. Oh, uh, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I put them up because in three areas, two of them have just gone into my categories recently for different reasons. Now, before I actually get into the areas, I put Michael Slogan on there for, for one main thing that covers everything that I'm about or I want to be about because that's the point of this stuff. You model on people that have got what you want. It's like a bit of a shortcut. Like, yeah, they say you copy them, be a copycat. You copy some of the stuff they do. Like, you look at athletes and stuff, like training regimes and that. When you hear them talk about when they were younger, they used to model themselves on, like, say, Michael Jordan or one of the sprinters in the Olympics or one of the swimmers in the Olympics or something like that. You hear them talk about it. That's modeling. Like, they have them as an idol, but they go a step further and they're like, all right, what did they do? What did they do to get there? What was their, what was their training routine? What do they have to do? And usually what you'll find, the champions of today, I know Michael Phelps talks about it, is they will pick someone, but they will want to outdo what they did training or preparing. They'll want to do one step better. So they're modeling, but then they're taken to another level. Now, I picked Michael Sloggett for leadership because leadership and ownership, and it's something he's been working with me on and teaching me on. How are you, Hayley? Awesome that you're hey. on. It'd be good to have Michael on, but that's all good. He can watch the recording. Um, he's, yeah, he's driving down to Geelong, so. <laughs> uh, cool, cool. Safe driving to him. He can, yeah, like I say, he can watch the recording. But yeah. I picked Michael for leadership and ownership. Um, ownership is huge. And if you get what I mean by ownership, that means owning everything good, everything bad, everything. Not just things you do, things about you. That's one absolutely cool thing that I don't know a lot of people that know Michael well. I've spoken to him nearly every day. Well, I haven't spoken to him. There's a lot of blunt messages where I don't get to respond, but it's all about leadership, no excuses, just own whatever the fuck's going on every minute of every day, every fuck up you have, every mistake you make. And that's why I see him as someone I can like aspire to be like in the leadership section. It's not a life area, but it's, it's a part I find for me is really important. Now, if you guys want to grow a business or anything, especially if it's World Ventures or whatever it is you're in, or you're a boss or something like that, you want, you want to have leadership down pat. That's the number one thing you want to have sorted. Because if you're going to have people, employees, or people in a group or a tribe or anything like that, if you haven't got that sorted and you're not taking ownership of everything and you're passing the buck and blaming this and that and that, you're not a fucking good leader. It's as simple as that. And that's why I picked Michael in that. And that can be just a separate area for you guys. Like we're all leaders. You're all leaders because you're leading yourself just as simple as being on here. That's being a leader because you want to get something out of it. And you can pick any person. I want you to, to take note of this, put down, because I want you to give me feedback in the group about who you've picked in each area. So the area and who you've picked. So in leadership, have a good think about it. It could be a frigging movie star. Like I was nearly going to put the rock in for one of my things. It could be people like that, but this is, this is the cool thing about it. And why, what do you do? I, I take, you can't pick the rock, Nath, cause you haven't got, it. Man, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you can, you can pick anyone, anyone in leadership. Leadership means different things to different people. All these mean different things to different people. But if you can pick someone, and just not study what they do if you want to go that far. Like I say, you listen to successful people talk, especially the younger generation in sport. I always use that. Hear who their idols were. That's what they're doing. They're modeling. In golf, in any of these things. You can do it in business as well. You hear a lot of businessmen quote people. They're quoting because they follow what they're doing. That's, that's what modeling is. So they'll base a certain area of their life. Well, how did he get to that leadership role? What makes him that great leader? Well, he's this, this, and this. All right, I'm going to literally mimic or mime or model myself on him for that area. Because then in your head, you're like, well, I've just got to do what he does. Just 
simple. He's got the result I want in leadership. My Michael's got that. He is complete ownership. He makes me laugh some of the time, some of the shit he says. He'll send a message and you're like, fuck, that sounds like an excuse. All right, no, nah, that's an excuse. <laughs> that's ownership. And that's a, I think that's a great type of leadership. There's a good, there's a good book um, by an ex-Marine. I've got to get it. I'm going to put it in the group once I get it. I'm going to get it in audio. It's about complete ownership. And I was talking about, um, Michael did a live feed on it and it, it really opened my eyes to a couple of things. I was talking about, I think it was like a general or something like this and the army and all this and shit went down. Shit went wrong. Totally wrong all over the place. This man was medallions, war hero, whatever. Went right through the book and he explains it. And at the end of the day, he was in charge. He could have lost his career, everything. What did he have to do? He had to point the finger at someone who pointed at himself. It was his fuck up. All the investigations, everything, but he turned on himself. That's complete ownership. There's a lot more to that. There's a whole book. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why I chose Michael for that. Now, with the life areas, I wish Lee Lynch was on here. Now, you've got health as number one, guys. Health is number one. I want you to all pick somebody. Now, if you want that perfect body or you want to be that athlete, I want you to pick someone in the health area. It might be just someone who's healthy or happy and vibrant. It doesn't have to look good. It depends whatever suits you in your health. Whatever health means to you, do someone. Pick someone in there. I picked Mr. Lee Lynch. Now, this is a new one for me. Now, the reason I picked him, I don't want to fucking look like him. He's like an albino. <laughs> that's the truth and he will watch it <gasps> but I picked him because he's a professional he doesn't go away his food and that but he looks after himself and he's got the mindset of that professional person in the health area he looks good he feels good he's got great energy that's he shows up every day and he wants to be like that that's what I call a role model in that area for me now that can change because your health goals change your health will change and these can change. But for now, what I want you to do, pick, pick that person, whatever they're doing. I know, Jade, if you're going to go into a modeling or a, a show or um, anything like that, you, you're going to have someone in mind that you want to sort of look like, yeah? Absolutely. I've already got them all picked out. There you go. But that's what I'm talking about here. And you would have worked out, well, what have they done? What, have, what was their meal plan been? Or what has their training regime been? Things like that. That's the sort of stuff you do with this because we haven't got it. And most of the time we haven't had it yet. So all right, if you've had what you want in that area, but if you haven't had it, who, where are you going? Like putting an image to a goal or a, a physical presence to a goal like that there. Cause most of us are visual. You see that. Well, what do they do? Then you work out the steps, what they done. And most often than not, guess what? Famous people or not, if you reach out to them some way or they're going to have something out there that tells you exactly how they got there or what they did in certain areas. So health for me was Lee Lynch. I've got a bit to go on professionalism, but I think that that suited me where I'm at now because I want to tighten down on some things. I want to get some things in check. I can go and ask him, what do you do? It's as simple as that too. It could be someone who's close to you. It doesn't have to be a famous person. Famous people stand out in our minds, but we've got more emotional attached to them because they're fucking on TV. <laughs> but that's in the health area so pick that I'm going to go through mine and like I say these have changed now this is a cool one wealth and career this means totally different things to totally different people everyone's different wealth and career now the way I've looked at this is sort of how I want to get to a place where they've got what I want this is a tricky one you can pick someone who's just got the money if it's wealth. I'll put a career in this because usually we've got to have a career to make this money. That's why I've put these together. So for me, what I've picked is I've got, of course, Gary V. He's got squillions. He doesn't even talk about it. That's why I want to model myself on him because he's got the confidence and the posture to talk about everything and anything well because he's got the money in the bank. I model some of my stuff on him for other reasons too. He's very, very similar in some of the stuff I've found. The more stuff I watch of his, I'm like, fuck. He's got a very similar attitude. The difference is he's got the money in the bank. I don't. So why not model it on him? What's he doing? Social media mad. Yes. Social media mad. Why not? 
I'll go social media. I've got work to do in that area. He's the man. Simple as that. The other person I've got in that area, you can have two or three in this too because it's very broad. Now, I've got Regan Hillier in there. Now, I've actually had Regan in these areas for about 14 months in some of these because she's been solid on all this stuff. In wealth, she's done similar stuff to what I've sort of got in place that I want to do. I haven't got it all yet and I do not want to copy everything. I don't. But there's certain parts of what she's done I'm definitely going to model that. Big, big reason why I'm going to Peru in May. Apart from on top of my own stuff, the stuff that she's got in place, I want to do some similar stuff there because it works. She's got the result. Do you get what I'm going with this sort of stuff, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Money one's a big one, guys. Money one's a big one. Could be Donald Trump. You want to be like, I'm his biggest fan at the moment. You, you don't know. You, money might mean everything to you guys. It mightn't. So you might pick someone that's just got a fucking great life because wealth means more than money. It could be someone who's just comfortable. Pick that person. How did they get there? What made them happy in, in the wealth area or the career? That, what, you might want to work. If you're going to be a professional traveler, which is one of my goals, fuck it if I want to work. But it might mean I've got a million dollars in the bank. It might mean I can afford to go on all my holidays and live comfortably. So I might model myself on someone who does that. It's different for everyone. It's not black and white. So there's no stress about it. But pick someone or pick a couple of people. Do some research. It's really important, that little bit of research to just find out who might suit you and then you just either read up on them or reach out to them, ask them. People love that stuff, serious. People who are success in this area, not just money, I think they love being asked the questions, they do. Because most of them want to tell people, but most people are too afraid to ask them. I've found this, this is what I mean, I've found this. There's so many people in my environment now, I've just asked questions. It takes takes balls because we're afraid. Oh, they won't want to talk to me. They won't want to approach me. One of the tasks I got set last year, and this is, this is gold. I got set a task to approach Michael Sloggett. That was a task in my coaching I got set. I got five successful people. Believe it or not. Look where I am now. That's what it's about. You just got to, you just got to get outside your comfort zone. If there's someone you want to talk to that they've got what you want, I can ask him, how did I get there? It's like cheating. But if you link into that and they help you out, you're like, wow, that's cool. They're cool too. I'm cool. I want to be as cool as them. All right. Now, this one, this one was, this one I actually never had anyone for before. This was the tough one. This is relationships. And the way I look at this, for me, relationships was a couple. That's how I use this one. It doesn't have to be that way. Relationships could be that outgoing socialite person. It could be like that. You've just got a close circle of friends. That might be your, your model of relationships. doesn't matter. But for me, for this, I, I actually picked Peter Kelly and Eric Coover from Isogenics. And I thought about this a lot, a lot. So I don't know if you know who they are, Nath or Haley or Amy. Hello there, little one. How, how could I not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Louise will be all over it. But the reason, yeah. the reason, the reason I, I've seen them like at the start and everything, Eric's just got brilliant energy. They work well together. They've got similar, similar sort of missions that they're on. That's the way I see it. And the way I see me, I want to be with someone who's pretty similar to Peter Kelly, actually. She's a fucking alien. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they're doing. They're contributing. They're having fun. They're building an empire. They're creating a legacy for their family. Like I said, there's more to these exercises I can add into this down the track about some of the words I've used then, why, why you pick these people. But for the time being, just if it's a couple you want to model yourself on, model yourself on them. That's why I found this really, really hard. Bloody hard modeling yourself on a couple when you're single. 
Don't okay. worry, mate. It's not too late. Hey? It's not too late yet. Yeah, don't, don't you worry about me. I don't air everything publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch yeah, we know face. your little secrets in the cupboards. No secrets. Watch my Snapchat. Well, <laughs> just a, yeah. just a funny year old. Uh, they're getting older. Oh, that, that's good, man. <laughs> Still 23 or have we gone up in age? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not in a position to comment on that yet. I've got to get permission. <laughs> it was 23, what, a month ago you were in Cobra? Yeah, well, no matter what, <laughs> we've got older. <laughs> yeah, by, few, by a month. <laughs> Brucey, Brucey, are you there? Have you got video, Bruce? Speak to yeah, me. Man, here. You yeah. got video, man? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I just can't see you. Really? <laughs> yeah, I can see you, man, but I don't know why I don't have a fucking. I'm not up there. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, you got to stop licking the screen. Yeah, well, I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least you've got to be something, mate. No, that's all right. All right. You've just jumped on. Don't worry about the video unless you can find it. I've just been going through. Do you know in the success priming, the morning routine, we've got our life areas? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going through that. And I want, I've been getting everyone to pick role models in each area. Like oh, okay. actual humans or aliens. Depends. You're half alien. <laughs> 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 half machine. Yeah, you'll probably have to watch a recording. I'm not going to go back through them all now, man. But no, you're right, man. I'll yeah, do that. Watch the recording and you'll get the gist. But yeah, just picking people in these areas. Now, I've just gone through um, relationships. Now, this is easy for me. This one was really easy. Passion and enjoyment. Now, this can involve a few people. And one of the people I've got in here um, is a few areas of, of sort of already modeled myself on. And that's Steve Irwin. Now, not because he catches snakes. <laughs> just remember. Did you say passion and enjoyment? Passion Steve? and enjoyment. But I'm going to roll Steve Irwin into a couple here and you'll understand why. I've spoken about this before. Now, passions and enjoyment, a lot of people don't even look at this area and think they've got to improve or do more. This is the one area in life everyone has to do more or has to interlink into their career. Oh, hey, there's Brucey. There we go. So you hit the video button and it works, mate, eh? Yeah, there, <laughs> there we go, Jake's back. Price, price. Yeah, but passion and ah. enjoyment, I've got Steve Irwin, yeah, because of his love of wildlife. Simple. Not because he catches snakes, but his love of wildlife, nature, conservation, all that sort of stuff. I'm really passionate about that stuff. That was, that's been one for years and years, like for a while. But I'll interlink him into a couple of others and you'll see why. It's really important. Now, the other thing too, <sighs> I put Gary V in here, believe it or not. He has a ball doing what he's doing. He's got nothing to hide. Have you ever seen him like actually be angry? There's never anger. There's just truth. Never, ever. He loves what he does. Always shows up 24 hours a day. Now, for me to get where I want to go, I see that at this time as a good role model to have in that area because he talks about it too. If you're doing something now and you're not enjoying it, you're going to struggle. He goes, if you don't know what to do in life, pick something you enjoy, then start doing something around that area. He lives that shit. People mightn't yeah. see that, but that's what I see for me. The other one I've got there is Michael Sloggett, and he's this is funny too. If you get to know him personally, which you will all, once you fucking put your foot down, Amy. <laughs> Amy, Amy had a good call with him today, which is cool. But he has fun doing what he's doing. He has fun doing it. He has fun having a family there, doing normal everyday shit. He gets emotional, but he always has fun. He always cracks a joke. Like, he cracked it at me yesterday. He goes, what do you do? Fucking live feeds for money or sales? He was serious. Next minute, ha, 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 ha. He was serious. But that's the sort of thing. That's, that's how I am. So I want to follow what he's got because it interlinks with one of the other areas too. See how they all interlink? So pick something, whatever. Passions and enjoyment, whatever it is. So you've literally got to highlight your passion and enjoyment for a start. And if you're not doing it now, write it down. You've got to get to do that shit. And you've got to get to do whoever's living that life. You want it. Professional travel is one too, guys. That's a passion and enjoyment. 
So if you want to get into the professional traveling, there's fucking heaps of people you can role model out there. I've been hanging around Lou Hardy for the last week up here. If you haven't checked her out, please check her out. She's ex-army military. She actually done some some stuff with Regan Hilliard and um, 21st Century. But she's just a knockabout chick. She's awesome. Did you see her up here, Nath? Yeah? Yeah, at a few um, parties, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she's, I've, I had a really good chat with her. Done some great training with her. But the way she lives life, she's got the family and all that. And she's like, I love to travel. I'm just going to travel. I'm going to put it out there. But she's up presenting and she loves that. She's passionate about it. That's her passionate enjoyment. Some of that I, I took on board this week. Because that's, that's what it is. I keep clicking on my phone. Now this one, do you know what? This was actually easy, believe it or not. This was easy because of the way I see it. Now this is family. Section family. Everyone's gonna look at this totally different. Totally different. You might look at this and say, all right, I want kids. So I'm gonna model my family life on someone who has kids if I don't have kids yet. You might just model it on someone who has the family life from the outside that you want. You've already got similar. You want that? They might just have the perfect family in your eyes. Just pick a family. But here's where I went. I went Steve Irwin again. Because he's not alive now. It doesn't matter how he was, what he was creating for his family, the way he lived with his kids teaching him, the way he was sharing his passions and all that. For me, that's what I want to do. I want to interlink all these. These are all interlinked, by the way, guys. And you'll find that the more you write these down, the more you look at them, you'll think, wait, these have all got to flow. But you won't know until you start picking people in these areas. You won't know. And like I say, I go back to it. Legacy. Legacy is a big word. Oh, lights. In the <laughs> office, I've got the rods. Have you seen how much water was running down the road, guys? I was nearly going to bring out the rods on the road. Is it raining in Cairns? It's been pissing down today. It's been mm. crazy. I've just been getting sunburned. <laughs> that was me the other day at Cape Trib. It was bloody hot up there. It was good. But you see, in these areas, like I say, it doesn't matter. You can pick anyone. There's no right or wrong answer. It could change. Family's such a broad one, believe it or not. You might be blue in your family. You might just see a family and neighbours or something that don't blue and they're happy. You could model what... Go ask them. How come you're so freaking happy? What do I have to do? It could be that simple. It might not be. I should take a screenshot of Jade there. <laughs> I love these. I'm concentrating. Nah. <laughs> uh. Now, this one... This one's a tricky one too, guys. I, I see it, and it's one that's changed for me, contribution. Because the people I had around me, I, f I thought they were driven by contribution, and I found out more that that wasn't their number one thing. So I've changed who I want to model it on. Now, like I say, this is a tough one for me because there's not really one person. Because I look at a lot of people that are contributing. They're contributing by working with people. They're contributing by growing businesses. They're contributing just by having that great family. They're just contributing in that thing. So this one for me was tough. I picked like my old boss from the West. Now, the way I see this, a lot of people in his circle don't see this. A lot of my mates I used to work with, no, they see him, he was very there. Number one, like he's a church guy, believe it or not. You wouldn't pick it. He talks like me, he drops F-bombs and C-bombs and anything. He's a hard bastard. He loses his shit. But he's got a shitload of money in the bank. He donates 10% of that to his church. He goes to Africa with his missus who have got 25 kids across Africa. They support for, but they don't just send money. They go to the villages. They go and help them. To me, that there, it's something I would like to do. You can have all the money in the world and say, yeah, I donate to charities. You know what I say to that? Who gives a fuck? Good on you. Because most people who do that big note themselves and use it as a tax write-off. But the people, I believe, that donate or whatever and actually go do something about it, that for me is contributing in that essence. 
like I say, and that's what he does. And I'm good mates with him. So what do I do? I talk to him about that stuff. That and the West Coast Eagles. Things like, things like what he did. Yeah, I know, it's unfortunate. It's sad. But things like what he did. How's this? He does big note himself when it comes to work. When it comes to that. When it comes to contributing, he doesn't. He went to the West Coast Eagles game and he won a $25,000 prize. Like a raffle thing. He went and bought a generator for a, a village in Africa. He flew over there and made sure it got installed. But he didn't tell anyone in the footy club. His missus went and told him. To me, that's what I feel is a great person who sees contribution is high up. They're not doing it for the big notary. They're doing it for the fact that that is their number one, one of their drivers. You get, get why I've sort of put that in that area? It's a tough one to model yourself on anyone. I, I think it is. Because you know what? There's so many people doing good in the world contributing. You guys are contributing now. You're contributing to me by adding value by being on here. That's contribution. I'm contributing to you guys now by adding value to you. That's contribution. It could be as simple as that. You get it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Jade doesn't. She's freaking out. She's like... <laughs> I'm multitasking. She's back. She's back. And like you guys are, like I say, already contributing. Contribution, contribution could mean absolutely anything for you. Could mean anything. It doesn't have to be donating anything. It doesn't have to be paying money to charity. It doesn't have to be that. Simple as that. It's like, now, here's the big one. Here's the big one. This, this, I, life purpose, Does, this is why this one's a big one. Does everyone on here know what their life purpose is? Nah. Not really. Jay would be the only one I'll say that's got an idea. Amy might be on the right track, I think. I like this guy down here. Is that Nathan? He's mad ruder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like me. <laughs> well, he was the first on I'm like holy shit who is this I, thought, I feel oh, like I thought, mad I thought it was Amy because she messaged me on the page I'm like what <laughs> <laughs> um, I love the mad Ruta I feel like you have you, you know exactly where you're going mad Ruta by purpose? name that's his life purpose it is, it is. And I feel like you stay with that brother. Oh. I will. <laughs> It'll just have to wait till Thursday night, that's all. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Too much. Oh, you got to change that shit. Yeah, now, <laughs> life purpose. Now, if you haven't got a life purpose and you don't know, this is actually probably a cool exercise. It's really simple. Who do you see in life is doing what you want to do in all of the other areas or some of the other areas that you feel you could be doing, but you're too afraid to, you don't know how to, you're afraid people might judge you. So you don't think that's your life purpose. Look at someone who's doing that shit. I can pick a number of people here. Like all of us could pick a number of people. I pick Steve Irwin again. Like, for me, it ties in with everything. Family, contribution, passions and enjoyment, career, wealth, if you want to put that in there. Even health. Man, the dude wrestled crocodiles. <laughs> but this is a cool exercise for life purpose. It really is. Because at the end of the day, if you can see someone in the world doing what you feel you could do, but you don't feel you're not good enough, or you feel you don't know the steps, or you'll never get there, all that, that's the person you model yourself on. How did they do it? And what you'll find with most, if it's a successful person, which it is for most of this stuff, most of the people I talk to that do this, successful people they model themselves on in their own, the way they see success. You gotta find out how they got there, and most of them have got a bloody brilliant backstory. That's why I love Gary V's. Gary V's is awesome. He's like an immigrant into America and he talks about it all the time. Check out some of his stuff, how he talks about what he does. And he got into the wine game. He worked in a bloody 
wine thing with his old man and all this. Every knockback there, but nah. His life purpose is doing what he's doing now. He's awakening people. He mightn't say it that way, but that's exactly what he's doing. That's, that's a big part of mine. Mine's changed. I wanted to help people that were like broken and now, no, now I just want to awaken anyone who wants to fucking listen. Leadership's at the core of mine. How I go about it, Steve Irwin's done it for him. He was a, like an amazing leader in like, like I say, conservation. But if people looked at it seriously, creating a legacy for his family, most people who are family people, what are we here? What are you doing? Serious. If you have any young family growing up, you want to create a legacy for them. You want them to be looked after. That's legacy. That's why people don't look at someone like that, but that's what he's created. There's lifetime legacy for his kids and generations to come by, by living his life purpose. He was an easy one to pick for me. Like, really easy. But yeah, we've lost Brucey. It's unfortunate. I had a good one for him. <laughs> but you see, with this exercise, it can change. It can change really quick too. I actually went through mine again tonight before I did this. I went through it again last week. I hadn't gone through it for a while because I've made a lot of changes, like a lot. When I went through it last week, I was like, <laughs> what was I fucking thinking? But at the time, it suited. At the time, it's what I needed to do. We're all freezing up. It's getting dark here. Have we got any questions on that? Nah. All good? I think yeah, okay. what, what I want you to do in the group, if you could, please, and I, I really want everyone to do this because it, it, you, you would know when you write it down and then you put it out there, it becomes more powerful. It does. Um, and I want to be able to comment on what you write down and put in the group. Because what I might be able to see too is what you can't see with who you've picked. I might be able to highlight another area why you've picked and you can't see it. Because sometimes subconsciously we'll pick someone for something they might have, but down deep it's actually for something they're doing. And you mightn't be able to see that. So that's why a big reason why I want you to put it in the group. Um, what I'll do, I'll do up a thread. I don't, I don't know, Nate, can you do up a thread? Just a quick, quick title in the group. Yeah. Once you're done, you got time to do that, yeah? Yeah, I need to yeah. Cool. Um, and in these areas, put in your life areas there. And leadership's the number one. It's not a life area, but it's something I highlighted there. Life yeah. areas, who it is. But three things, why? Yeah. Could be one word. One word from Three things, why? They've got the cash. They've got money in the bank. They've got the body. They've got the looks. They've got the life. Any, so, simple as that. Because what, what I'm going to do, yeah, what I'm going to do, and I know that at least five years are going to do this. Bruce will do this. I know young Joshua will do this. Six or seven will get in there and do this. I'll, I'm even going to put mine in there. Um, you can say that, but we can go back to it in another training. And there's a daily thing you can do if you really want to take it to another level. And you can write down every day in them areas, what steps are you going to take? What steps are you going to take to be more like that person or be more like that role model? We can take that through. This can be taken to a whole different level. It's a good one. This is a great one if you're really hating on yourself and you're down on yourself and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel and you can't see yourself getting to a goal. This is a ripping exercise for that. Yeah, too easy. I'll um, get onto yeah. it and smash it out. Just a thread, and yeah, if you can put them in there, that'd be fantastic, guys. That'd be really cool. Um, and this is something you can check in with weekly, monthly. Put a time on when you need to check in on it, but that's, that's the thing. I was doing this there. We were set last year. There was two months we had to do this every day. It was fucking hectic. Writing the same stuff every day. You know what? Constant repetition, it's in your head. Then you don't have to look at it all the time. Then you know it. You know what you're doing. It's like anything we're doing. For the purpose of this, just do it one spot. But in your own time and space, if it suits in your routine, do it a week, 
whatever, check in with it, or just have it on a board or something so you can see it. I lost Hayley over there, she's making dinner. What's for dinner, Hayley? Hello? What's for dinner? I'm having protein tonight, eggs. <laughs> you got any carbs with that? You got any um, veggies? I do actually, I got some, what have I got? Cauliflower, broccoli, carrots. <laughs> Perfect. You got Miss Opie here to turn to too if you want nutrition advice. Ah, uh, awesome. Yeah. Woohoo! How's the training going anyway? You're still running and stuff? You're still doing the burst stuff that I said to do? Um, I've been a bit slack this week. I've had a bit of a... <laughs> this week's throwing me a little bit. But, um, yeah, I will be back into it tomorrow. So, yeah, I know. Work's been hectic. That's making me very lazy. <laughs> no, no. You're making you lazy. <laughs> I'm making me very lazy. <laughs> You're allowing yourself to be lazy. Now, my yes, question I am. is, who have you picked to role model in your health area? I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. <laughs> what do you want to look like? I'm not going anywhere well, for an answer. Well, I, I have a goal of what I want to look like. It's what I used to look like. So, Who is it? Myself. Yeah, no. I want you to pick someone. <laughs> Trust me on this. This is, power, this is a powerful exercise in the health department. It really is. Yeah. Because sometimes when it's ourselves, we picture what we used to be like and all that. We Internally, we don't believe we can get back there. When things get hard, we're like, fuck it. Nah, this is it. And we give up. But if you've got a picture yeah. of someone else who's got it and you've got their steps, you've got all their things, it's much easier to connect with. Like with a vision board. I think I've told the yeah. story about the vision board I had. I had like this guy on there. He was like 45 and ripped. Everyone thought I had a vision board with a guy on it because I wanted to be with a fucking guy who was 45 and ripped. <laughs> yeah, that's just weird. <laughs> I had to take that shit down. Put a girl up there and everyone thought I wanted to be a hot fucking bikini model who was 20. <laughs> I got that part of the vision board fucking half right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really want you to pick someone, Haley. Seriously. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm gonna do a bit of research over the weekend and really, um, really, you should be able to just like go really easy, like really easy. Pick a model. Yeah. Seriously, I want to pick someone. Pick someone that you think that you'll never look like, but you would love to look like. Yeah. There's 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 plenty out there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Just overthinking it. Yeah. No, well, that's, that's the point of this too. It's to yeah. take the thoughts away from yourself and what you haven't got. There's so many... This might seem like a simple exercise, but on so many levels, this, is, <laughs> this has got more to it than just a simple exercise. I'll just say that. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, well, that is all for the training tonight, guys. I know it's gone dark in here. Good luck to you guys watching the recording, but I'm loud enough, so... It's cool. I hope you've got a lot from that. It's um, like I say, it's a, just a, another cool, simple exercise you can do. Oh, oh good. Mm -hmm. Any questions? What I have. No, I just want to say a big thanks, Steve. Like, I, I personally, and I know everyone else, really, really appreciates everything that you do for us and the value that you provide us is, yeah, is second to none. So thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, everyone. And my thank you. Oh, said Amy. My thank you to you is I'll only thank you is when you put your responses in the group. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? That's the energy exchange that I do this for. Yeah. So that's that's the only thank yous I need. Awesome. Any more questions? Jade? No, I think that you covered everything pretty well there. I'm wrapped. I'd have to say I haven't actually been on one of these for a long time and it's good to connect back with everyone. So, hey, guys. Ooh, and um, <laughs> Steve, you've been very busy and I think just coming from my end because I've been on in anything like this with you for a while, I'm going to say that you've uh, you've stepped up a level yourself. So, well done. I don't notice that. Maybe it's my modelling that I'm doing on other people. <laughs> you got a new glow about yourself. <laughs> oh, now, we're not going to go down this path. Oh, wait. That relationship guy. Oh, really? 
<laughs> Fucking hell. Tell me something that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no relationship here, dude. Oh, Josh, oh. I was like, just watch Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to rock and roll. Thank you again, guys. Um, anyone who's watching the recording, well, I'll know who watches the recording because they'll be the only ones who comment in the group. <laughs> um, I'll put the recording of this in the group in the morning too. Um, I've got to transfer it to YouTube and then I'll swap it over. So you can watch it again if you've missed anything or want to pick up on anything. Um, like I say, it's pretty cool. Cool. Hey, yeah, what? Yep. Um, can you just like write up a brief, like, like what we what we got to do? Can you do that, Nath? Just in the thread, maybe just yeah. maybe just put the life areas, um, and just say yeah. each area, um, who you role model yourself on, um, and just three three things or steps you can take to get like that. Or something like that. Three three things you can do to be like like I say, you just gotta work more or whatever it could be. It could be anything, it could be a word. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. I'll put mine in there after anyway too. So if you've got any worries about it, have a look. Because there's no right or wrong guys. This is the thing I keep telling everyone. A lot of people and a lot of guys I know in the group aren't doing anything because they're afraid that it's not right. Or they're afraid of speaking their mind because, oh, no, if I say that or if I put that in, it's not going to be right to other people. I don't care. There's no right or wrong in this, guys. Whatever we're doing. Cool, cool. It's not my way or the highway. It's the people who are modeling <laughs> fucking way or the highway. <laughs> All right, guys. I've said goodbye three times. I'm going to go. Any other questions and stuff, too? Um... Flick me a message or whatever. I'll, I'll probably get to them, if not tonight, tomorrow. Because um, it's knock-off time for me now. Seven o'clock's a knock-off time for me now from calls and stuff. Finally. Yeah, I know. You've got to do the same. Wait, wait, wait. I've got another question. All right, cool. Yep, what? No, no, no. There we go. Uh, real. Uh, that that yeah. was a test, Steve. Hey? That was a test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you got me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a question. Um, what's going on with your love life again? <laughs> oh, I'm going to, I'm going to the gym. Talk is later. Hey, Mr. C. Thank you, Mad Ruda. And Amy's just jumped <laughs> off. Ruda. Amy's asked some questions and just jumped off. She wants to, I know, <laughs> you can't just mute your speaker if you ask a question. No, I'm here. Why, what, what is going on with it? I was just being cheeky, that's all. No, I see Sue. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, TMI. Just watch, watch Snapchat and you'll find out eventually. That's all I'm saying. Snapchat, righto. You'll get it. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right, I'm done. No more fucking relationship questions and recording still. Ah. Oh. Oh.